Hello friends, welcome to Efficient Learning World. So in the previous video, I explained you about the recursion, recursion functions, and its examples and its advantages as well as disadvantages and usage of recursion in programming. And we learned about that how we can minimize the time complexity using the recursion in the previous video. So if you didn't have watched that previous video, so kindly watch that video because that will be really helpful for you to understand the basics of the recursions. Okay. So from this video to up to uh, the uh, Furthermore, uh, upcoming next videos, I will upload the programs and the problems, the mostly asked questions in the interviews about related to uh, recursions. So our today task is to make a program that will help us to calculate the power using the recursions. Means, for example, if I want to calculate the power of, oh, for example, two raised to power uh, four. So two raised to power four, if I want to calculate that, what will be the result of this? Uh, you can say that how I can calculate the power of this number. So two raised to power means uh, four means that I want to multiply two by itself four times okay so 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 2 2 multiply by 2 4 4 multiply by 2 8 8 multiply by 2 16 so its answer is 16 so i want to calculate this 16 means that i want to calculate the power of 2 uh, 2 raised to power 4 using the recursion programs same like this problems that i want to calculate 2 raised to power 3 so it means that i want to multiply 2 by itself three times because of this power that is 3 so 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 2 means 3 times when I will multiply 2 by itself I will get the output that is the required output that is for 8 ok so 2 raised to power is equal to 8 so how I can find this uh, uh, answer so the method I am going to use is that I will multiply the base with the function that will receive two arguments one will be the base one and the second one will be the decrement of the power you can say for example i want to calculate 2 raised to power 3 so it means that power is 3 so 3 minus 1 3 and uh, the answer will be 3 minus 1 2 so 2 minus 1 1 1 minus 1 0 okay so these are some of the functions i am going to call and one by one this uh, when the zero will be uh, equal with the when i will reach the zero I have to return from that uh, you can say that terminatory point okay so one uh, when one will be returned so it means that 2 multiplied by 1 2 multiplied by 2 okay so this answer 2 multiplied by 2 4 okay so 4 will be returned and 4 multiplied by 2 I will get the answer 8 so if you are if you didn't understand this the example so don't take any tension because I will explain each one by one step by step in the pseudo code of this for a program okay so this is a simple co a function that will receive two arguments one will be the base one and the second one will be the power one for example if i want to calculate 2 raised to power 3 so 2 is the base that is going to be uh, stored in the base variable and this is the power that is 3 and this is going to be stored in the a variable okay so data type can be a very for example if you want to calculate the power of uh, decimal point numbers so you can also write here float or double type okay this is an example of c++ coding uh, the function or the c language this way function will work in the c and c++ as well or if you want to uh, work in another language for example python because python don't have any type of data types okay so the concept will be same but the function can be varied okay so let's uh, this is a function to calculate the power okay so here there are two parts for example one will is the base condition because to prevent infinite recursions i need some uh, base condition or a termination condition so that's why this is the base condition of our function okay and the else part if the base condition will be false then the else part will be executed okay so let's dry run over code from the scratch okay so let's suppose i want to calculate that 2 raised to power uh, 3 okay so it means that 2 is the base and 3 is the power that how many times i want to multiply 2 by itself to get the over required answer so 2 is going to be stored in the base variable and 3 is going to be stored in the a variable okay so let's suppose that uh, this is something which i uh, have written that p power this is a function in the main function okay so this is something which i have written in the main function okay so i am going to call this uh, function in the main function 
okay and in the main function i am going to call this function and this function will be called and the body of this function is this okay so let's suppose this is the function so first of all when the compiler uh, run and the compiler check the code the it will firstly come into the body of this function and check the termination condition okay so it will check the if condition that is a is not is equal to 0 what is the value stored in a a has 3 value so 3 is not is equal to 0 condition is true so it means that the body of the if condition will be executed so what is written in the body of this if this is base so what is base 2 power base power is the same function i am calling this function again but be a o consisting of different arguments so that's why this is the decursive function because i am going to call this function again by itself okay so base is equal to 2 and base is also is equal to 2 and here i will write 3 minus 1 okay so this is will be something like this okay so uh, this will call another function with the different arguments okay so this line will uh, uh, call another function that will be power and now the arguments will be base is equal to 2 and a, a is equal to 2 by 2 because 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 so this will be something uh, like here okay and if, when the compiler will come into the body of this function then it will also again check the if condition that is a is not is equal to 0 so what is the value stored in a is 2 2 is not is equal to 0 condition is true so that's why the body of this if will be executed so what is written in this body base so base consists of 2 and power is again a uh, power will again call another function with the different arguments that is power uh, base is equal to 2 and a is equal to 2 minus 1 okay so this will be something like this and this will call another function and again will be condition will be checked okay and the, as the condition is true because 1 is not is equal to 0 so this will come into the body of this if condition that is returned and here I am going to call another function the, uh, actually the same function but with the different arguments okay so this will call an, uh, the power function again with the different arguments now 1 minus 1 0 so this is 2 comma 0 is passed as the argument so base will receive 2 and a will receive 0 so now when the compiler will check the condition that is a is not is equal to 0 so a consists of 0 so 0 is not is equal to 0 so it means that the condition is false so furthermore the body of this if will not be executed any furthermore so if means that if if body will not executed so it means that the else part will be executed so this line will be whatever the code will be written in the else body will be executed and that instru instruction is return 1 so instruction return 1 means that i am going to return a value that is 1 bool type also you can say okay so this one will be returned to the point where the function was called so this function was called at this point okay so one so this will automatically be replaced with the value that is going to be one okay so this is uh, one will be returned and uh, replacing this way the line here you uh, here the value will be one okay something like this okay so one is going to be here and two multiply by one is one okay so you see this function was uh, when we return from this function this function will automatically be eliminated from the main memory of the stack where it will uh, the where the compiler allocates some memory in our uh, main memory okay so the when we return from this function this will automatically be removed from our stack okay so again uh, at this statement return two multiply by one two multiply one means 2 so 2 will be returned to the point where the function was called so function was called at this point okay so again this statement will be replaced by 2 because we return 2 value okay so you can also uh, pass another integer but I, I'm go not going to focus on that because uh, here our task is to find the recursion uh, to find the power of any number okay so 2 will be returned and this line will be replaced by 2 okay and again when we return from the function this function will also be eliminated from the stack okay and now 2 multiplied by 2 is equal to 4 and 4 will be returned to the point where it was called and this will be replaced by 4 and this function will also be removed from the main memory now 4 multiplied by 2 8 8 will be returned to the point where it was called so 
where the point where we call this function was the main function that can be looked like like this okay so in the main function maybe we have declared some variable and initialized with them and uh, we pass that variable for example power 2 comma 3 okay because we have uh, we need to find 2 raised to power 3 so we pass 2 as an argument and 3 as a power so this function uh, this function will receive that arguments okay so 8 will be returned to this point where the function was called okay so this is the coding of c plus plus but instead uh, but in the c language c out is replaced by the print or if you are going to write this code in the python language this will also be replaced with the print okay but in the c plus plus uh, c language this, this will be print f okay so again the structure or the concept will be same but the syntax of different language will be vary okay so concept will be same that calling the function again and again until the we reach the base condition that is a is not is equal to zero okay so this 8 will be come to here and 8 will be over output that is going to be display on console that is 2 raised to power 3 is equal to 8 so it means that i multiply 2 by itself 3 times again and again until I reach the uh, point where the uh, where our base condition or termination condition becomes false and the else part executed and it returns 1 and 1 multiplied by 2 then 2 multiplied by 2 and again 4 multiplied by 2 which is equal to 8 and 8 will be returned from this function to the point where it was called and this was the point and this will be like this and 8 will be displayed on the console and the print messages you can also uh, set it according to your own so this was our output so let's see the let's check the code on the editor so here is a uh, uh, our uh, compilers okay so i am going to use the c++ online compiler but you can also use a uh, dev or atom or visual studio various code whatever you like okay so code will be same for all the compilers okay so the function we i explained you in the slide that was like this power and its return type was in i want to calculate 2 raised to power 4 so let's run over code so 2 raised to power 4 is to 16 so this is the over required output okay so for example if i want to calculate uh, 1 raised to power 4 or for 144 so 140 for you can all uh, you know that 1 raised to power whatever this answer will be 1 okay so answer is going to be 1 for example if i i'm going to write here 2 raised to power uh, 5 okay so let's run over code so 2 raised to power 5 is 32 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 2 is equal to 32 and if you are going to write here another like 2 raised to power or oh, for example 3 raised to power 2 so 3 raised to power is equal to 9 that will be over required output so you can uh, run this code by your own i am going to write a uh, copy this all the code and i will provide the link in the description from where you can also download this uh, program okay so and you can also copy paste it or you can uh, paste it on your editor and just check the idea you just have to build your concept about recursion that i am going to call this function again and again until the base condition becomes full and i have to return from the function and this will return output to my point where it was the function was called okay so my output is going nine okay so let me in the last run this program for example four raised to power two so 4 raised to power of 4, 6 is going to be 16, okay? 